So this is finally the video that everybody was waiting for. The actual video of modifying the iPhone to a night vision. And I have already disassembled it, which you can see in my last video. You don't have to disassemble it completely, you just have to take this cover off and this one off. To modify it to a night vision you basically have to do two things. First you have to remove the infrared filter from the camera to make it sensitive to infrared light. And the second thing you have to do is to swap those white flash LEDs for infrared LEDs to make infrared illumination. So let's unscrew the lens from the camera. This is not the best tool for it but it works. Until it comes out. And now the lens is out. Under the lens you can see the CCD or CMOS chip. And the lens is out. And by the way this is a fake iPhone which has a focus free camera. Which is crappy, it cannot do macro or close up but on the other hand it's very simple and easy to modify. And this one is the better version which has the filter on the lens, not on the chip. So it's much easier to remove the filter. So this is the lens and from the back it has the filter. I will try to remove it somehow. Now it actually split. So the filter is gone and only the lens remains. Now you can put the lens back. And now the picture is out of focus. Or actually it's acting as a microscope because it's focused to a very close point. So you have to keep screwing it until the distant objects are in focus. So I got it into focus and it seems to be sensitive to infrared light already. I can see the light from the remote control which normal camera cannot see. A normal camera can have a very little sensitivity to infrared light but this one is now super sensitive. It can also see the filaments glowing inside my vacuum fluorescent display clock. That's amazing. And the black plastic on my video cassette recorder becomes suddenly transparent. And take a look at the flowers. They are suddenly white. But the cat looks still the same. And now there's time to choose the best infrared LED for illumination. The number 4 seems to be the best one. It's this one. The brightest one is 850 nanometers. The other ones are 940 nanometers. So it's possible that the camera is most sensitive to the 850 nanometers. So let's try a few of those best ones. Now in a breadboard. Now it's completely dark here. And let's take a look around my room. Quite nice. Now I'm able to see in absolute darkness. And now there is several different ways how to put those infrared LEDs into the camera. If you have SMD infrared LED you can solder it instead of this white one. Or you can also connect them externally to the flash or you can also connect them directly to the battery via a resistor and a switch. So if you connect the LEDs to the original flash you can control them using the flashlight function. And you can also connect them to the battery via a resistor and a switch and then you will use the switch to control them. But this camera has a very low power flash. The LED draws only about 15 milliamps. 
and the flashlight turns off when the camera is activated. So it will be better to connect the infrared LEDs directly to the battery. This battery cover is actually a nice piece of plastic, so this will be the support for the LEDs. And this will be the switch. I will use momentary switch so that I don't forget to turn it off. So let's cut it. So I have cut it. Now let's drill some holes for the LEDs. The holes are ready and I have decided for 12 LEDs. And because the voltage drop of an infrared LED is only 1.5 volts, it's more efficient to connect two in a series, so the total voltage is 3 volts. The maximum current of one infrared LED of this type is 100 milliamps. And because there are six in parallel, the maximum current of the entire cluster is 600 milliamps. So now we only have to calculate this resistor. This is a lithium ion battery with the nominal voltage of 3.7 volts, but the maximum voltage of fully charged battery is 4.2 volts. And because the total drop on the LEDs is 3 volts, the voltage remaining for the resistor will be 4.2 minus 3, and this is 1.2 volts. 600 milliamps equals to 0.6 amps, and according to Ohm's law, the resistor will be R equals U over I, and this is 1.2 volts divided by 0.6 amps, and this is 2 ohms. And the closest common value of resistor is 2.2 ohms. And the power dissipation of the resistor will be U times I, and this is 1.2 volts times 0.6 amps, and this is 0.72 watts. So we will need about 1 watt resistor at least. I have found a resistor which is 2.2 ohms and 2 watts. So let's put it together and keep in mind that the positive or anode is always the longer wire, this one. So I have soldered the LEDs and now I have to add the switch and the resistor. So now it's all together and I have used a super glue to glue the button to it and to secure the LEDs in the place. And where do I put it? Here? Or here? I still have to decide. So here we have some soldering pads going directly from the battery. So this is where we are going to connect the LEDs. So let's make some hole. And here we go. Let's put the screws back. Let's solder the wires into it. The wires are in the place and solder the wires into the LED cluster, positive to the switch and negative to the negative of the LEDs. Now let's put the battery into it. And it seems to work. So let's put the cover back, starting with the side where the volume buttons are. Put this one back. And now I just glue it into the place and that's it. And now let's keep it in place until the glue will dry. So my night vision is complete. So let's try this out. Just activate the camera, press the switch. And that's it. Now I'm in a pitch darkness. And now you can see my living room. It's dark and when I press the button, you can see everything. That's nice. It works really well.
and I can even see outside. And it's about 10 meters away. And it seems it's not only a night vision, it's also an X-ray vision. Let's take a look at this clock. Some types of plastic are transparent under infrared light. And please keep in mind that the battery can explode or ignite, that the infrared light can be harmful for eyes. When moving in dark you can suffer injury and this modification avoids your warranty. So this is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.